with a shot that I didn't see, you know, one that came from underneath, you know, uh, and, 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 it, and it, was, it went from there, you know. Uh, I guess I didn't make the count, but I appreciate everybody that came out, everybody that's been a part of this event, um, from Earl Spence to TGB to, you know, uh, everybody, all you guys who are here as well. Um, I'll be back, you know, I'll be back better, you know, watch film, get better, grow, you know, and y'all will see me again. Hey, Frank, what's up, man? Najee from Sagato. What's up with you? What's going on, brother? Uh, up, congratulations, man, just even being here and, and fighting tough. Um, in the beginning of the fight, you know, you, you had it under control. You were moving well, using your jab. It felt like you won a lot of the early rounds. I would say maybe around five or six is when it started to feel like it took a turn. Can you tell me about that part, like what you remember, like when the momentum started kind of shifting for you? It's just I, I got to chilling too much on the ropes, you know. Uh, Derek, that's one thing he's been talking to me about and uh, training camp for a while, you know, not getting comfortable on the ropes, you know, not chilling on them, you know, just because I feel like, you know, I, I can catch shots and this and that, you know, I just feel like <clears throat> I just, I was on the ropes too much, you know, I had started just chilling on the ropes too much, bouncing off of them and stuff. Okay, and quick follow-up, um, a lot's been made about Tank's power. How was his power to you? Was it really, like, devastating power? I mean, he got power, you know what I mean, but it's more like he, he got a, he do a great job at landing this big shot, you know, he know how to land that shot, you know, uh, hit guys on the button and just get him up out of there, you know, cause he, cause he an acro puncher and he, you know, he just know how to land that shot. Frank, uh, just a question. You did as well against him as just about anybody that's ever fought against him and you still end up getting knocked out. What do you think, what kind of performance does it take, what kind of fighter would it take to end up beating Gervonta? You said the type of fighter? Yeah. I mean, you just gotta, you just gotta go in there and box. You gotta be able to box, you know, and, and just watch all the shots, you know, because he got them shots that if you don't see him, you know, he can get you out, and he, and he's sneaky with it, you know. He can take a punch, he can give a punch too. So it's just like just being woke with him. You gotta be woke in there. I've been saying that like the whole time leading up to this fight. You know, you gotta be woke, <clears throat> and I got caught with a shot not being woke. So. Frank Schreiber.